Satnam. Hello there, School of Nod family, friends. So great to be here with you. Just wanted to come on and center in with you on this equinox. Live podcasts on our School of Nod page here. So I wanted to come together with you all as well. And uh, we'll definitely be doing some together in the near future as well. It just feels so good to be able to connect in this way from all over the globe, wherever we are in this moment, whatever time of day it is, to come together, the magic of the internet. And so I'm very grateful, very grateful for you, for tuning in, for being part of our tribe, part of our family here in the School of Nod. So thank you, we honor you. We honor you in your journey and we're here to help you. We're here to serve you. We're here to assist you in whatever way we can. So any feedback you have as to what you may need from us, what you are looking for or wanting more of, definitely let us know. We're open to any suggestions and recommendations. With that said, today is the equinox. So happy equinox to each and every one of you. Many blessings. Here, if you're in the northern, then it's the autumn equinox. If you're in the southern, then the spring. Um, in either case, this is a very special time because we have equal amounts of light and darkness. This equilibrium of our days is bringing us energy of balance, of equilibrium to our lives if we're open to receive that. And so just offering each and every one of you blessings of balance, equilibrium in your life, in every aspect of your life, and also inviting you to tune in to the energy of today, of the next few days, because it's not always exactly you know, at a specific time, but the energy of the equinox is happening um, over the next few days. And so inviting you to tune in Tune into yourself, tune into how you may be out of balance and how you may be able to cultivate more balance in your life, how you can cultivate and anchor in this energy of equilibrium at this time into these different areas of your life, into your body, um, into all the different ways that we can balance our own masculine and feminine energies within ourselves, our own light and shadows, our own balance between the head and the heart, our balance of our physical bodies with our etheric energies, all these different ways that we can come into balance. How about your day? Are you spending enough time outside or is it all inside? So maybe coming into balance with just being in nature more, breathing in fresh air outside. Whatever the case may be for you, this is a great opportunity to look at these different areas and see how we can bring in more balance. Of course, another aspect is emotions. Emotions, um, right now the moon's in Cancer, so it can tend to bring up different emotions within us. And so how easily are we able to balance our emotions? Um, it's good to feel them, absolutely. We don't want to bury them and shove them away. And we also don't want to be just overtaken by emotions 24 seven. There's a fine balance here of feeling the emotion, letting it pass through, and then coming into a neutral space where you can see things for what they really are and be able to evaluate life as it is, as opposed to these emotional colorings that are projecting onto whatever the situation may be or the person or what have you. And so with this theme of balance and equilibrium, I'd like to share with you a really easy, quick meditation. And this meditation literally can be done anytime, anywhere. It can be done in as little as two, three minutes, and you can go all the way up to 11 minutes with it if you'd like. And it's super simple. <laughs> Basically, all you do is you bring your hands with your palms open underneath the armpits and your thumbs are on the outside. So you're squeezing down in the armpits 
and then you're lifting the shoulders up. So you're giving yourself a nice tight hug. So this is for ourselves, bringing ourselves into a more neutral space with our emotions when our emotions are out of control. Or if maybe we're not able to feel our emotions, if we're too cut off from them. So this brings balance wherever you may be. The chin is slightly tucked, so we're, we're elongating through the back of the head, which gives that nice elongation, and the chin tucks inward. The eyes are closed with one-tenth open, so just a little sliver open, and you're gazing in and up between the eyebrows at the third eye point. And so you're gazing in and up, and just begin breathing long and deep. Through the nose, you're breathing through the nose. And with each breath, we're starting to slow the breath. We're starting to go a little longer, a little deeper with each inhale and each exhale. To the point where you can almost do four breaths per minute or less. So if you're in an office at work and you start having some emotional moments, maybe you can excuse yourself, go out to your car, go out to the bathroom and just take a moment, hold yourself like this and breathe. It's a very quick and easy meditation. Again, you can just do three minutes or you can go all the way up to 11. You can do it as a practice if this is something that's ongoing for you. In which case, if you're doing it as a practice, as an actual meditation, you want to tune in using your Anganamo Guru Dev Namo, tuning into that inner wisdom and the higher self and all the guidance that's available to you. And then from that space, move into the meditation. So I hope this serves you. I hope that, um, oh, someone's tuning in from Glastonbury. Jessica, welcome. Thank you for sharing the Glastonbury energy here with us. And um, yeah, so take this meditation with you. See how it works in your life. See how you can cultivate more balance with your emotions, with your energies and how you're showing up in the world, you're masculine, you're feminine, you're dark, you're light, you're all these different dualities that exist within us because here we are on this duality planet. It's beautiful. <laughs> we have this beautiful physical vessel, this physical body. So how are we taking care of it? How are we nurturing it? And also how are we nurturing our soul? What, what um, different practices are we, are we doing to nourish and feed our soul? Devi, Satnam, great to see you here. And so just take this with you. May you experience many blessings of balance and equilibrium on this beautiful solstice. And let us know. Let us know how it's going for you. You can um, comment right here in this video or even join us in Soulbook, our private community group. And uh, we'd love to hear from you there, any sharings that you have, particularly around relationship around finding a soulmate or enhancing and going deeper within your existing relationship this is a perfect time that balance of the masculine and feminine to really show up um, in a balanced state and if you're not in a relationship currently you can really utilize this energy that's available to us now this equilibrium to bring in this energy of perfect balance and that inner marriage within you. The same if you're in a relationship. This is so important for each partner individually to stand sovereign as that divine union within themselves first and foremost before the union can happen between the two. So there's a lot of divine union energy available to us right now. May you tap into it. May you experience much harmony and bliss in every area of your life. Wishing you many blessings in this beautiful equinox. Sat Nam. <laughs> Much love. See you soon.